Hello, my name is Brian Sir, a TME here at Nutanix. In this video, we're going to look at how to monitor virtual machines running on non-Nutanix clusters. This is available within Prism. Let's get started. Okay, I've already logged into our Prism Central instance here. We can check and add new vCenter instances here by going to the menu, to operations, and choosing integrations. We already have one vCenter instance added. Uh, we will use that to look at the virtual machines and what uh, statistics we can see for those. If we want to add a second instance, we can do that by using the configure instance button. And then you'll enter in typical uh, vCenter uh, you know, information. You need to have your host address and then the username, password, and if you want to verify the uh, SSL certificate. Then you can test your connection and then move on and save the connection. We won't do that because we already have one saved. It's already configured and active. And then once we're connected to an external vCenter that's not running on Nutanix, we can then get uh, stats-based information on virtual machines, hosts, and clusters contained within the connected vCenter. And we will see those in the normal entity browser right next to the uh, entities that run on Nutanix clusters. So let's first take a look under hardware and we'll look at clusters. And once the connection to a vCenter is active, you'll notice on the side you now have Nutanix, which this is for the entities running on Nutanix clusters, and then one for vCenter. If we click on this, it will show us just the clusters contained with any connected vCenters. We will say, see the same thing under hosts, which we'll take a quick look at. Again, we can sing, see our single host that's contained within our test cluster. More importantly, let's uh, go to virtual machines. And we'll, we'll see the same thing there, but then we can click on some virtual machines and see what's going on. So now we have our list of VMs running inside of a vCenter. And if we click on any one of these, uh, they're really not running any workloads, so our stats won't be uh, super interesting, but we can get an idea of what's there. So on the summary tab, we get a uh, you know overview, much like you see in normal Prism uh, virtual machines running on Nutanix, which gives us some high-level details about the entity that we're looking at. We also have alerts tabs and events, and then we can look at the metrics that are pulled from vCenter for these virtualized in uh, infrastructure VMs. So we can see there's a number of different stats in here. We can choose the, the different time periods and we'll just slowly scroll through this uh, so that you can see the different stats. We see the expected ones based upon CPU memory, uh, lots of storage based metrics uh, in there. And then Prism uh, Ultimate and Prism Pro is using its uh, VM-based learning and applying uh, analytics to learn the behavior of what's normal for, for these virtual machines, just like they would for the VMs running uh, on Nutanix clusters. And this is represented by the blue band there, which is the uh, normalized behavior. And then, you know, should those stats uh, run outside of the uh, baseline band there, it will create an anomaly just like it would in uh, VMs running on Nutanix. Okay, so now that we've learned that VMs running on non-Nutanix infrastructure can benefit from many of the same benefits that VMs running on Nutanix clusters can, such as behavioral monitoring and anomaly detection. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.